Okay, hey, what's up, guys? Just want to make a uh, quick point. The dude is playing a replica Music Man bass, and it costs two hundred and ninety-nine dollars. And he said the seventeen hundred dollar real Music Man bass didn't sound as great as the cheaper model. And he said the only difference is the body on the Music Man bass is thicker and was wider. That was the only difference that I could see from looking at it when it was on the wall. They both look identical. Both had almost the exact same pickup, the exact same design. The um, cheaper model, which I don't know what the brand was, but you could tell the body was skinnier and looked like it was uh, cheap, cheaply made. But like the dude, he it sounded almost identical when he was playing the exact same riff. So, like I said, guys, don't always uh, think, i got to get that $1,000 bass because it's not always that great. But honestly... When I go to a guitar center, it motivates me to play and play and play and get better. I guess it's equipment. I've always said this in the past. If you guys are going to go play your ass off when it comes to, like, guitars or trying any instrument, don't be afraid. There was a dude in there. He had the volume cranked almost on where you could barely hear it playing. And what I heard, he was ripping on this guitar. And the dude even the work there said, turn it up, crank it up. You're allowed to crank that shit up. When I go to guitar center, as you can see in previous videos, above my head for the BC Rich video, you can click and you can see I was ripping on that shit because I want to play and see what instruments I want to pick up when I uh, come back to buy some. So um, always remember that when you go to a guitar center or any guitar store, they allow you to rip on these things. Pick up the $1,000 Les Paul and jam on it. See if you uh, like the instrument. So um, hopefully you guys enjoy this video. Bye-bye.